Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? So you've, you've uh, already been through this routine, so you know how it works. And don't forget, though, you might have to stretch it outside the box a little bit. We just, we communicate the best way we can. Oh, we're going to start off with... Mom's saying, tell him, tell him. Okay. I promise you a thousand percent. She can hear you. She can see you. You don't need me to tell her things. You just need me to give you answers back to some things or whatever you want to hear from her. As far as you talking to her, talk to her all you want to. She can hear you. I promise you she can hear you. She says, ask for that butterfly. Ask for that butterfly. So a butterfly is going to be a sign from her. Pick a butterfly. And don't pick something exotic that doesn't exist here. But pick a color or pick a minor white. Minor white butterflies that I get when I go out from my bob. It's a big sign. Actually, I was just telling somebody the other day, I'm going to have one tattooed on my ankle. Big sign. Um... So she says, pick your color. Do you want orange? Don't pick anything really outlandish, but pick something that, anyway, and that'll be your sign, one of your signs from her. She's going to let you pick. So you'll see it on Facebook, in a movie, on TV, um, in, for, in real life, um, walking through a store and you see a fake one stuck in a plant somewhere. So you pick. She's going she's gonna to do it that way. Itch, 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 itch. Anything that happens during my reading is so this itch on my this my right shoulder blade was very intense. So when you get that, that's that's mom kind of poking on you, kind of poking on you. Um, know that that's her. So make sure you validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her, and ask her to bring you more. Let let it, ask her if you want her to. It's all up to you. It's your choice. If you want her to bring you signs that she's that close, because it's still itching, it's still itching back there, but it's where she's poking. I actually feel the tingles going from there down to my elbow on the back of my arm, so you should feel that too at some times. At some times, does that make sense? Maybe not. I don't usually make sense. Mom says she's very happy for you. You are on your way to accomplishing things that she could not get done in her life. You are about to find your own, excuse me, I start choking. You are about to find your own peace. Make sure you keep that energy in your new place light and bright. She says you found a special place for a picture of her. And, okay, I don't know if you know anything about sage. You probably uh, would be a good idea to sage. And, and open a window and ask all the old energy that's still lingering in there from somebody else, ask it to leave. So you can always Google or go to YouTube. They'll, they'll show you how to sage if you don't know how. And ask that to leave. And then she's showing, like, turning all the lights on, opening the blinds, opening the windows. I don't know, probably have, I don't know where you live, but you probably have the air conditioning on. But even if it's just for a few minutes, every morning I open my back door for a few minutes just with the fresh air, but also to let some of this old shit out. It's it's like making it bright and light and cheery. And she's talking, she's, have you already put flowers and stuff in your apartment? Making it a happy place, happy music. 
happy, happy. She keeps saying happy, happy. She's happy, happy, and she wants you to keep the energy in there happy, happy. So turn on that music. She's talking about jive talk, and that's a song. Hang on. So she likes your jive talk, and she likes she likes the way you uh, have an upbeat um, upbeat banter. I don't want to say this. Um, upbeat um, slang. Um, upbeat. Oh, I can't think. I can't get the words that I want to say. Um, cute little way of saying things sometimes. Don't jive talk yourself into a basement. So there's two ways to do the jive talking. She likes the way you you do it when you're upbeat. Do not do not um, do not jive talk yourself into getting down, down, down. Make sure you flip it back up. Uh, that was a lot of muttering. I'm sorry. Do you have a dog? Or do they allow dogs where you're living? She's showing a dog walking into your apartment. <laughs> Excuse me. So if you do, <coughs> goodness. So if you do have a dog or you're around a dog a lot, watch the dog. The dog will be looking in the corner of the room. It might bark at nothing. It um, dogs see them. And hear them. So if if you are around a dog that does this, make sure you acknowledge mom, validate her, tell her you love her. She says you've you've heard the shuffle of her slippers. Like going across your floor. Like she's kind of sliding her feet with house slippers. They're fuzzy. And if you have a robe or something that you wear, like when you get out of the shower, watch for it to keep falling, falling on the floor. So again, that'll be a sign from her. So make sure you validate her and give her permission to come to your new place. It, it doesn't hurt to give them permission. She likes your hair. She says you need a whole new change of pace, a whole new change. It's good for your energy. Get excited. She wants you to get excited about it. Get excited about your new life. Keep that energy pumped up there. Do you do you write or doodle or She's talking about writing like poetry or writing, I don't know if she's talking about actual writing poems or writing sonnets. I don't know what the difference is. Or maybe just journal journaling, writing down your thoughts and dreams. She wants you to write down your thoughts and dreams. Actually making them real actually putting them in black and white and making your thoughts and dreams real. They don't have to be here yet, but if you make them real, you will manifest those. She wants you to write them down. She says number them, write them down. Keep them in mind. 
take baby steps towards them. Doesn't matter how outlandish they are. What would make your heart sing? What is truly out there that you haven't accomplished yet that will truly make your heart sing, that will make your life over the top wonderful? I keep asking for $10 million. I haven't got it yet. <laughs> hey, dream big. Dream big. That's what she's saying. Dream big. Put it down. Make it real. Not just the wishful thinking. This is what I want. And everything you write down has to be positive. So don't write down, I don't like this person. I don't want them around. Write down something positive. Everything has to be positive that you want to work towards. She says, including bringing love into your life. She comes in sometimes and she puts her arm around you. You should be able to feel it. It won't feel like a human, like if I put my arm around you, but like she's sitting behind, beside you and puts her arm around, you should feel that pressure, or you might just feel the warmth across there, you might feel the goosebumps, you might just feel this overwhelming feeling of love. She says, Mama loves you. You're still my baby. And she gives you a kiss on the right cheek. That should feel warm, tingly. You, I think you probably heard all of that. They're closer than you think. They're, every single person doesn't realize how close their loved ones are, if you want them to be. You're also going to get the smell of smoke. And you can be anywhere when you get the smoke. I don't know if we've said that. I don't remember what signs we've had before. Those. She's leading you tons of signs, tons and tons of signs. She says again, you're still my baby. It'll be all right. This will make you stronger. You have a good heart. Stay away from the troublemakers. Stay away from that shit. I don't know what shit she's talking about. You hanging out with people that are doing things they really shouldn't be. She was kind of a little adamant about that. So be careful. Mom's giving you a warning. You're a good boy. No anger. No anger. Don't go there. Believe in love. Okay, she's going to leave. Much love to you, my dear. Thank you for allowing me to be her voice again. Don't forget, she can hear you. She can see you. So just talk to her. Talk to her. And somehow... Maybe not that exact instant, but you'll get some kind of a little sign and where she will validate that she heard you. So it, it could be just you'll hear or see one of those signs, because she's, she's got a ton of them, that uh, she'll validate that she heard you. Much love to you. Thank you for allowing me to be her voice. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. Later.